Hi everybody, welcome back to 30 Days Until Then. Um, we're going to talk about something that's sometimes very difficult to talk about and, and sort of conceptualize when you first uh, encounter it, and that's poetic meter. And poetic meter refers to the, uh, in English, um, we really have two modes of speaking syllables. One with stress and one with unstress, right? And so if our syllables are stressed, um, that means we say them more forcefully. If they're unstressed, we say them quite less forcefully. So, for example, in my name, Brantingham, it's stressed, unstressed, unstressed. Or I guess from your side, stressed, unstressed, unstressed. Or um, uh, what, what, what's, what's another? Um, Anne's maiden name is Thurmund. You wouldn't say Thurmund unless you're, you want to fake being wealthy or something. We found out that, our, that the city that we used to, to, Anne used to live in was called Delmar, and they wanted to make it more fancy, so they called it Delmar, right? Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's the emphasis on the wrong syllable, as they say, right? And it, 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 it just doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, now, why is this, this important? Because stressed syllables tend to make a larger statement. It, it controls the way we feel about something. It's neither happy nor sad. Um, but the, the degree of enthusiasm, maybe. Um, sometimes if you're dealing with, with something very um, powerful, you want a lot of stress. Um, it's, it's very difficult in English language to do any more than, than two syllables in a row, either stressed or unstressed. Just because if you listen to me talking, my voice is going up and down. Um, that's because I, it, it's hard for us to, to put out words that, are, that don't do that. They're very, very rarely will you see something um, that has like three uh, uh, stresses in a row. Now, if you want a little bit of homework, read um, Wilfred Owen, um, Dulce et Decorum Est. Um, Dulce et Decor Decorum Est goes through these th different phases. It starts off with, it's all about World War I, and if you're from Canada or England, you had to read this in high school or whatever they call it there. Um, it starts off with a, uh, a very, very quiet and slow uh, plotting thing because they're, they're all trudging to the, to the things, to the, the, the war that they have to go to, and it's very dull, very painful, right? It's just that, that slow thud. And so it's, it's actually very rhythmic. Um, and then when they get, suddenly they're, they're attacked by gas, and the gas, everything becomes much, much more high powered. There are more stresses. He's one of the only poets who's ever gotten four stresses in a row, and he does it by creating four quick sentences. Uh, gas, gas, quick boys, three sentences, right? Gas, gas, quick boys, right? Just saying that kind of stresses you out because um, you, you know what's happening, but there's also that, that level of, of what's going on. And then at the end, he goes into a more ponderous, more unstressed thing as he sits there and he, he thinks about what's happened. Uh, and he, he, he talks about how if you had ever seen that, you would never say with such fervent uh, ardor, uh, dulce et decorum est propitia uh, more, which is, it is it is um, just and fitting for a young man to die, die for this country. Uh, so something like that. I've, I've, I've just butchered that. Um, okay, uh, so, so now what are we going to work with? Uh, what I want you to do is take something... Um, uh, well, let's, let's think about the different stresses. Um, you think about uh, m most of what you see, for example, in rap is iambic uh, or something like that, which is unstressed, stressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, stressed, right? So that we have an unstressed followed by stress followed by unstressed. You can also do stressed, unstressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, unstressed, stressed, or some variation on that. And that works very much like a waltz, right? So, bump, 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 bump. Right? And it has that sort of feeling to it where it's not um, painful in the way that a waltz is not painful. Right? It's, 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 there's something very nice about that. Um, you, you also have stress, stress, unstress. Bum, 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 bum. Right? And that, that's going to create a, a different feeling altogether. Um, now, should you allow this to overtake your, your, your poetry? No. Don't let it take over your poetry. Most of this you're going to do naturally. However, if you start to think about it a little bit, maybe you should try to work with, with one sentence, you can see how it works and see how it affects your, your stuff. Um, really, the effect is that if most of it is iambic or one of the others that are just like that, um, <coughs> you're, 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 going, you're going to end up with a very uh, stable mood. If something does stress, stress, unstress, you're going to have a very chaotic mood. And the same with the, with the waltz beat. 
you're going to have a very calm mode, right? And if it, just if you have a preponderance of those things, it's going to create uh, something different. So what I want you to do is I want you to find a place that has a particular mood and think about revising it for that meter, right? And this is going to take a long time. This is a very difficult thing to do. Um, I, I think you gain more out of the trying than the, the accomplishment because that's going to start working in your brain and you're going to start doing it a little bit more naturally. Just, you're just going to kind of do it. Um, and so just take a line and try to fit that line into something. It's going to take a little bit of revi revision. The problem with that uh, stress, unstress, unstress is that many of our Latinate words have that beat. And the Latinate are almost entirely, um, uh, what do you call it, abstract. And so then we kind of lose that concrete value of the poetry that we have. Okay, so anyway, uh, when you're done, just that one line, post down below. And we'll talk to you tomorrow on 30th to 11.